So over the last several videos, we've talked about error handling in Java. And we're going to introduce one more concept, and that involves using the finally block. Now, you will remember in the last video, we set up our try block, and then we set up two catch blocks after that. And when this line of code executed right here, where we tried to divide by zero, an exception occurred, and of course we handled it right down here with this catch block. And then you will remember the way this is set up, the program will no longer execute, and everything is basically done at that point. And so this second line was not executed. Now, what if you wanted this set of code executed? Well, as we talked about, you could put this in another try catch, or you could put it in the finally block. And you can see I've created that right down here. Here is the finally block. And this is where we will actually put this code in a few minutes. But a couple points, and I put some comments here so that you'll have these. First, and the most critical one here, is you have to place the finally block after the try block and all catch blocks. It must come last, because that's what it literally means. It's the final deal. And the second point is the code will run no matter what happens in the try block. So once this exception occurs up here, when we try to divide by zero, and we handle it in our catch, the program then should move down and execute any code we have in the finally block, whether an exception has occurred or not. That's really the key point. So it literally is the last stop. So let's go ahead and copy and paste all of this code, and we're gonna put it down in the finally block. So this should now be executed after we hit our first exception. And it doesn't even matter if we leave it up here, we can. And actually, we don't need this system.outprint anymore. We'll get rid of that. And let's go ahead and actually print out the number one element so that we don't throw an exception here. So let's go ahead and save this. And now let's go ahead and run this and we'll see if this actually works and it should. And there you can see it worked. We hit our exception in our try block and then it came down and executed all the code that we had in our finally block. Okay, that is going to do it for this video. We will move on to new topics in the next video.